this a little bit so you can see the video a little bit. Actually, you can see the video pretty well. Okay, actually, that looks good. Hello, good morning. Welcome to A Moment in Time with Taylor. Thanks for being here. Who do we have? Name same. Hello. It was so cool to hear all of your knowledge about WWE. Actually, Greg was in there too, weren't you, Greg? Good morning, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Crystal. I met one of your really cool followers yesterday. What's his name? Sage Cryptic. Really nice guy. There was a couple people in here from you sharing that yesterday, so thank you. I really appreciate that. Hey, Alex. Yeah, you can sleep through this if you want. It's all good. <laughs> good to see you soon, Nikki. How have you been? Yes. Okay, everybody follow Crystal Gray Yoga. Uh, she does yoga scopes as well. She's really, really awesome. And hello, Dee. Hello. Uh, and I want to say she does longer classes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mine are usually like 15 to 30 minutes on here, but she does like full length classes sometimes. So keep an eye out for her. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, I missed it. What on Wednesdays? It's okay, I got a drop. What is the noise? Oh, it's my dryer. Should I stop it? Is it loud? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there's something in my leggings. Your full classes are on Wednesdays. Awesome. Yeah, so definitely, definitely check her out. Definitely. New pick? No, I don't think so. It should still be my Bitmoji, I think. Connection is excellent this morning. Yay, Nikki. Yay. Hi, Hansa. <gasps> Thank you, Crystal. Aww, you're so sweet. I love her. So glad that we met. Thank you for Twitter and Periscope and Annie and Wellness Warriors and yoga and like all the reasons that we connected. Sounds like a cat trying to get out. No, no, no. The cats are good. The cats are happy for now. It's fun. It's just, I was just saying, yeah. Yes, Wellness Warriors. I love it. We only have one more week left. Only one more Thursday. You still need to check out the saloscope. Yeah, it was like midnight last night when I did it. It wasn't a super fun one last night because it was so short and I was going to bed and then it crashed really early and I just didn't start it back up. So you didn't miss much, but I was wearing this shirt. All right, so we're going to just pick up with where we were two days ago. We were, I said we were going to do this yesterday, but my husband was here playing the game, which I can't judge him for because I did that for like two days straight. So I am now going to pick it up where we left off two days ago, which we were just right in child's pose. So even though this is an advanced class, if you're not advanced, you can do child's pose pretty comfortably. The way that you do it, if you start out on hands and knees, clean off your miscellaneous crap off your yoga mat. I'm going to have to scrub this down. <laughs> Bring your big toes together and open up your knees about mat distance apart. Send your hips back as far as they'll go. Now, you might feel tension or stiffness somewhere. If you do, that's okay. If your hips are up a little bit, that's okay. Just try to lower them towards the heels. And then glue your hips wherever they are, as far back as you can send them, and then let your upper body come forward. So if your head doesn't come to the mat, that's okay. You can use a block like this. And if you don't have a yoga block yet, first, I highly recommend getting a pair of them because they make life so much easier. Um, but if you don't have them yet, you can just use it to support your head. I mean, if you don't have them yet, you can use a pillow <laughs> um, or a blanket or a cereal box or whatever really is around and works for you. And you can support your head on them like that. And you can even stack them up taller. So if you need something even a little higher, you can do something like this. Two more breaths. Good. Take a moment here to set your intention for your practice. Hello, Lave. Hello, Jem. I don't know if Hansa heard you, Dee. He left right after you said hi to him. I think he might be back now, but I'm not sure. He was coming and going, coming and going. Hiya. How are you? All right. What's our volume at here? Turn it down a bit. Okay. Let's get to it. Oh, you guys see my books. I'm going to read books today since I played video games for two days straight. I can't hear her over the dryer. Coming 
drop the tail though. What's this little face? Oh, this is Eggbot from Eggdrop. The hashtag Eggdrop. It's um, Eggdrop.com. It's awesome. It's a tool for broadcasters on Periscope. So you're keeping your hands down and just your lower body is doing side plank. Keep sucking it up and lifting. Lift that right hip up off the floor. Come down to four arms. A dog, Jessica. <laughs> I don't have any dogs, but I do have two cats and they absolutely interrupt when we let them. Roll the outer edge of left foot. Forearm we're doing the same. I'm already sweating, and this is like the second pose that we've done. Release down. 
watching yoga. I'm trying to do it, okay? <laughs> Catch your comment in a minute here. Yes. 
Last relieving pose. Coming back up to seated. Let's roll onto our bellies. What? Why do we come up to seated? Why don't we just roll over? Finishing the shadows. So Sunday, your forearms paralyzed. Yes, you are a yogi. You're actually a yogi me because you're a girl. Out again. You guys are funny. We're getting ready for that one-legged spinal twist. We've done this before. You want to roll so far that your left shoulder touches. Both shoulders should be on the floor. You can turn your head the opposite way of your legs. Maybe placing one hand on that knee. How's everybody doing? Thanks for the heart. Love y'all. And then rolling back over. Putting left arm under right, palm is up. Bringing right knee towards arms. And then opening it up so that the right shoulder comes down on the mat. You can turn your head to the right. And if you'd like to place your left hand on your right knee, don't pull on it, just rest your hand on it. Back onto our belly. Let's just roll it right onto our back and center yourself on your mat if you've moved. We'll draw both knees into our chest. We'll take one final contraction just to signal the body that it's actually trying to relax. So squeezing everything. All right, gas relieving pose. So come on to your back. And exhale. Inhale long. Exhale, everything in, squeeze the air out. And when you need to inhale, go ahead and lay back. Maybe she's going to do meditation for us today. Let's see. Allow the earth to support you. Completely let go and relax. Oh. <laughs> Listen to the healing tones of the dryer. Spend as much 
time as you have in Shavasana. So if you'd like to linger here a few moments, a few minutes longer, please feel free to do so. We're going to stay down. If you are ready to move, we'll start to... Oh, actually, fingers, we're early. Wiggle the toes. Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's wiggle it out. We'll do our meditation together in a couple minutes. Comfy Saturday. <laughs> Those are the sounds I make when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for the heart. When you're ready, come seated. Now it's peaceful healing, yes. Oh, hey, Sam, how are you? How was your exercise? Thanking our bodies. Namaste. Namaste. Yay! Her name is Liz Arch. Buy all her stuff. She's awesome. She's really strong and she inspires me. She's actually the one who inspired me to get into handstands. On the way to 2 million hearts. Yes, Chris. Yes. Oh, bye, Greg. Have a great day, too. I hope you have a good day at work if you're working today. Oh, wait, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? You do meditation early in the morning. Awesome. Yep, this is my early in the morning. So I wake up at 8 a.m., I brush my hair, and go to the bathroom, brush my teeth. That's pretty much it. And then I come out here and I start doing yoga with you guys. Oh, good stuff. So, yeah, if you've already meditated today, you don't have to do it again. Peacock pose. I forget which one that is. Let me look it up. I don't think so. Oh, no, but I bet that's going to be in this class, um, this series that we're going through together. I hope, anyway. There's going to be a lot of arm balances on it. So I put in the title, Silent Meditation, so I'm going to stick to that, even though I'm feeling very, very talkative. Hello to anyone I may not have addressed. I see Nikki, I see Chris, I see Sam, I see Dee, I see Sassy. You guys should all follow each other. You're all awesome. I love all of you. I didn't get very sweaty today since that was the second half of the practice. Do, 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 do. You're going to weight training now. All right, well, have a good day, Sam. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate that. Hi, Sainty Ames. <laughs> we start the meditation, everyone leaves. Okay. <laughs> And it's going to be silent, so good, we're right on time. So we're going to lay here in silence for 15 minutes, and I invite you to, <laughs> Hannah, <laughs> well, you can go to sleep if you want, Hannah, but technically you're supposed to try to stay awake during the meditation uh, and stay focused. So that's what meditation does for us. There's plenty of science to prove that it helps us with our focus. So if you've been struggling with focus, you definitely want to meditate. I know it's the hardest time to meditate when you're feeling unfocused, but I promise you it will help. The, the idea, the way that it helps, is that you just keep focusing on what you choose to focus on, no matter how many times the mind wanders. Yo, yeah, Chris, you just started. You just started. You're still very new. Hi, Anonymous. How are you today? We're about to meditate. So I was just saying, you just want to keep focusing on what you want to focus on. So I'll tell you what I do. First, I relax my body. Then I take a couple deep breaths in. Then I just watch my mind and emotions to see what's going on there naturally after the yoga practice. And then finally, I will choose a mantra to focus on, or I'll count my breath, or I'll just choose one mental exercise to do. Martial arts is good. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. We actually use a lot of Qigong methods in this particular um, series because Liz Arch is a Qigong practitioner as well. If for those of you who are here when we were tapping down the meridian lines, doing all that, that was all Qigong, which is a martial art. But one is not better than the other. Sorry, my friend.
return your focus to the meditation. Focus on the object of your meditation one last time. And then when you're ready, gently begin to start moving the body however feels good for you. When you're done moving around, if you're laying down, you can roll onto one side using your lower arm as a pillow. Reconnecting with your intention from the beginning of class, the reason you do your yoga practice. I'm glad we didn't crash and freeze. And Macy came over to hang out with us. She's an old lady. So, she's very noisy, but we love her. So, 
she gets a blanket now. <laughs> hey, Dr. John, how are you, man? I am frozen? I'm frozen? I'm still on the floor? You guys can't see me? Oh my gosh, but you can hear me okay? That's really weird. I've never had this happen before. I'll have to start it over then, I guess. I just want to catch up on old comments, if you guys can hear me. You see me on the floor? That is so weird. I'm sitting up right now. Time for bed. <laughs> Yoga fire. <laughs> is someone playing guitar? Yes. A little music would be nice. My husband is playing guitar in the background. Oh, hang on, John, I missed it. Yeah, I'm meditating. Yep, meditating, not sleeping. Okay, so there wasn't really a lot of comments in there today. Your 4,000 hearts, I know. You see me on the floor too? Oh, oh, that was you saying that. Oh, that was you saying that whole thing. I thought that was all John, sorry. Hey, Zeke, good morning. Can you see me or am I on the floor? Am I sitting up when you see me or am I laying on the floor? Taylor gang. Yep, D sent 4,555 hearts. I am sitting up. Okay, you can see me moving around and stuff. <laughs> I know, Chris, but I don't think I have to start over. Zeke says he can hear me fine. <laughs> Zeke, Chris says I'm still laying on the yoga mat in his, but he can hear me. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. I've never had this happen before. <laughs> Well, Zeke, I'm glad you popped in when you did. I was about to end the broadcast. Chris, if you try leaving and coming back in, will it, um, will you be able to see me? I drop, uh, I will find you and I will. You will what, Anonymous? What will you do? Gonna give it a whirl? Alright. Alright, sounds good, Chris. Thanks for all the hearts. You're awesome. Choke him. You can't choke him. He has no neck. Look, he's necklace. He's just a head. Can't choke can't choke a head. I'm gonna start jujitsu classes again this week. And I'll learn about choking. Okay. <laughs> 